Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Podcast. Let's review malaria. Um, so what are the clinical symptoms patients who have malaria present with? Well, patients will have fever, chills, myalgias, headache, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Also, there's a fever pattern which varies depending on cause. P. falciparum, uh, in which the fever is usually constant. Uh, P. ovale and P. vivex, where the fever is usually spikes every 48 hours and P. malariae where the fever usually spikes every 72 hours. So it's important to understand the difference. If you see constant on the board exam, you're thinking P. falciparum. If you see um, 48 hours, you're thinking ovale and vivax. And if you're thinking of uh, 72 hours, then it's basically malariae, okay? And the onset of illness in malaria usually occurs weeks to months after the infection, but it's dependent on the specific cause. P. falciparum infection is by far the most serious life-threatening cause of malaria. How do you make the diagnosis? Well, um, the, have to first identify the organism for which you'll need a peripheral blood smear. And blood smear may have a Guillem-Sa stain. Now, it's also uh, good to know that malaria is prevalent in tropical climates such as in parts of Africa and Middle East and it's transmitted via mosquito bites in endemic areas. So what is the treatment used in order to treat malaria? Well, you want to use chloroquine phosphate um, unless there's resistance which is suspected. In many countries chloroquine resistance is so prevalent that it should be assumed. So if chloroquine resistance is suspected then give the patient quinine sulfate, okay, and tetracycline. So that's your board relevant fact. Uh, chloroquine resistant, you give the patient quinine sulfate and tetracycline. P. falciparum infection may require IV medication um, and it requires IV quinidine and doxycycline. So relapses can occur in P. vivex and ovale as a result of the dormant hypnocytes which stay in the liver. And in these cases, you should add a two-week regimen of primaquine phosphate for these types of malarial infections. Prophylaxis is important for travelers to endemic areas. Keep in mind that uh, mefloquine is the agent of choice in chloroquine-resistant areas. Um, and chloroquine can be used in areas where chloroquine resistance has not yet been reported for travelers who are in endemic regions. So as a recap, uh, just to know, Knowing how to treat malaria is a high yield topic for the Comlex board exam. Understand again, chloroquine is usually the first choice unless the patient is resistant, in which case you give quinine sulfate and tetracycline. For P. falciparum, you'll need IV quinidine and doxycycline. And if relapses are common in P. vivax and ovale, um, add another two week regimen of primaquine phosphate. And for prophylaxis for travelers, generally mefloquine is the drug of choice where chloroquine is resistant. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures on the Comlex board exam and USMLE board exam. Good luck in your preparation.